So hello everyone. Am I visible and audible to you people? Just give me a minute. Let me confirm if I am visible and audible to you people. So I will start the lecture. I will start it in a minute. Okay. Okay. So very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Priyanka Sachdev here. I welcome you all for this session. So in this session, I am starting a series for PSM, Preventive and Social Medicine. I will teach you PSM every day. So the first topic which I have selected is the most difficult one from PSM. I have selected biostatistics. So I will teach you every day a small topic of biostatistics and we will finish the biostatistics in the next three, four days and uh, we will solve numericals also. So this session is highly beneficial for all competitive exam aspirants that is need PG, FMG and INICT because this is a very important portion for all competitive exams and CQs. And this, this, uh, this is going to be really very important for uh, pre-final or third prop MBBS students also. So without wasting time, I'm starting with biostatistics. So uh, this is the first lecture of biostatistics. You can see what is statistics or what is data, what is statistics. So statistics is the uh, measured or counted fact or a piece of information which can be stated as a figure. So what is the height of a person? What is the weight of a person? What is the uh, weight of a baby? So anything which can be measured in some number, in some figure is included in statistics or data. And data is the plural or statistics is the plural of it. So we know it is a science of figures you can say. So here we collect the data, we classify it, we summarize it, we interpret it. And we draw the inferences by testing our hypothesis. I will teach you all one by one. So this is the theory, you know. So biostatistics, if we apply this science on medicine, that is on biological science, then statistics is known as biostatistics. So today I am teaching you a portion from statistics that is biostatistics. So let me start with biostatistics. What are the sources of data? From where we obtain the data? We obtain it from experiments, from surveys, and from records so three sources are there now i will teach you what are the type of data and what are the scales of measure, measuring the data so what are the types of data how many types of data do you, do you know so we have two types of data qualitative and quantitative qualitative and quantitative qualitative is known as categorical data and quantitative is known as numerical data let me tell you the difference between the two qualitative cannot be measured in numbers we know it is it, there are no numbers here we cannot measure it in numericals or in some numbers numbers are not possible here i will give you the example and numerical or quantitative data it can be measured in numbers it can be measured in numbers let me tell you the examples of the two <laughs> let me start with the first one that is categorical or qualitative data so here do not these data do not have any numerical value let me take an example what is your blood group tell me what is your blood group is it some number no. Is it either blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB or blood group O? It is not a number. So that's why it is categorical or qualitative data. What is your gender? So whether it is male or whether it is female, it is not some number. What is the sites of lymphoadenopathy? So is it cervical? Is it inguinal? Is it mediastinum? It is thoracic? It is paraiotic? So what is the site? What is the presence of diabetes? Whether the diabetes is present or absent? What is the weather? So is it is sunny, spring, summers, winters like this. Obesity, whether present or absent. Type of anemia, it is iron deficiency, whatever it is. So it is not a number. So this is this type of data is known as, this type of data is known as qualitative variable or categorical. It is measured on a type of scale known as nominal scale. It is measured on nominal <coughs> or ordinal. I will tell you the types of scales also just after it. Just understand it. That is the first type of data. Now coming on the second type that is quantitative. That will have numbers. It will have some some of the numerical value will be present here. <coughs> Let me tell you what numerical values are present here. Let me tell you the numerical value. So there will be a numerical value. Just suppose what is your height? Tell me what is your height? What is your weight? So you will tell your weight. Is it 50 kg? Is it 60 kg? 70 kg? Whatever is your weight? So there is some number. What is your height? It will be 150 centimeter, 160 centimeter, 170. What is what, whatever it is? So it is in inches or <coughs> some numerical figure is there. Some of the number will be there. What is the mid-arm circumference? What is the blood glucose level? Whether 120 milligram, whether 130, how much? What is the temperature today? What is the BMI? What is your hemoglobin? What is your... <coughs> I'm sorry, just give me a minute. <coughs> I'm really sorry. 
So what is your cholesterol level? So these are the examples which we measure in numbers, which we measure in numbers. So that is the uh, uh, quantitative data. So we have two types of data. That was the first classification. So first, there are three types of classification for data. We have three types of classification for data. This is the first classification, qualitative, quantitative. Qualitative known as categorical and quantitative is known as numerical. So that was the first classification. This is the second classification. Data can be discrete, can be continuous. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Discrete and continuous ka kya matlab hota hai? Discrete means it will have only whole numbers. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, not decimal. 1.5 nahi ho sakta. And continuous will have decimals also. So apart from whole numbers, it can be 1.2, 1.3, 3.4. So that is continuous. It is discrete. It is non-continuous. It is continuous. Let me tell you the examples. So discrete will have discrete will have fewer possible values and no in between values. In between nahi hoga. Ya to 1 hoga, ya to 2 hoga. It will not be 1.5. In between values nahi hoongi. Continuous may there will be large possible values possible and 1 or 2 or all numbers ke beech mein in between values are also possible. So as the name indicate. So let me tell you the examples. So discrete there are no in between values and no units. Units bhi nahi hoongi. So you see the example. What is your uh, blood group again? So blood group is either A, B, A, B, O. It will not be something between ki mera kuch in ki beech mein hai. Gender will be male or female. Sides of lymphadenopathy or you can see here. How many numbers are there in a family? In your family, how many children are there? In your family, tell me the number. So whether it will be one children, whether it will be two, whether it will be three. It will not be 1.5 children. What is the number of members in a family? How many boys are there in this class? How many patients are there in the hospital? So it will always be a whole number. It will be always be a whole number. It will not be a decimal, a fraction or decimal. It will not have unit. So units are absent or fractions or decimals are absent. In between values are absent. Always whole numbers are there. That is discrete. Continuous data will have any numerical value. In decimal also, in fraction also. And unit is also there. So let me see the example. What is your weight? So your weight can be 60.2 kg. Or your weight can be 70.1 kg. So decimals are possible. Height can be 150.5 centimeter. It can be anything. Mid arm circumference, blood glucose level, blood pressure, BMI, cholesterol, hemoglobin, pulse, temperature, uh, BMD. Everything will have in between values also. Am I visible and audible you people? Na? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. And if you can see me clearly. I can see your chat. Okay, so these in between values are also possible. So this is the second classification that is continuous and discrete. So these all are continuous in between values are possible. Numerous values are possible. So that is the second classification. This is the third and last classification of data that is dichromous binary variable or polyto polytomous di di uh, dichotomous or polytomous. So what do you die? Die means two. Only two possible values are there. And in poly, multiple values are possible. Let me give you the example of die. Let me give you the example of dichotomous scale. So what is the RS blood group? Whether your blood group is A, B, AB or O depending on ABO system. So but, but whether it is A positive or A negative, B positive or negative, AB positive or negative, O positive or negative. So you always have two options. Positive, negative, positive. This positive, negative is of RH. So RS blood group is whether it is positive or negative. I'm not saying weight. I'm saying weight greater than 80. Say yes or no. Is your weight greater than 80? Either you will say yes or you will say no. You don't say no my weight. Don't give full answer. Give me whether yes or no. So it is, it is having only two options. What is the gender? In gender usually we have only two options. That is male and female. What is the presence of diabetes? Say yes or no. What is the presence of obesity? Say yes or no. Is the temperature less than 12 degree today? Say yes or no. What is the blood group B? Do you have blood group B? Say yes or no. So you have only two options. You have only two options. That is known as die. Die ka matlab two. Ya binary. That is two. Coming on poly. Polyotomous. You have multiple options. So in ABO blood group. In ABO blood group we have four options. So whether your blood group is A or it is B or it is AB or it is O. So it is more than two. You have four options. Weight. If I say weight greater than 80, you have two options, yes or no. But if I say weight, you have multiple options. Now, your weight can be 60, 65, 70, multiple options are there. 
what is your height if i say is your height more than 150 you have two options but if i'm saying height anything can be possible so same mid arm circumference blood sugar temperature bmi hemoglobin cholesterol so if i'm asking a lead, leading question to you you have two options yes or no it will convert to binary scale or dichotoma scale but if i'm saying weight as a whole height as a whole then you will have multiple options a b a b o like this and you can have this this is the example of polyotoma scale give me a give me a thumbs up if you got it if you got it the three types of data we have studied so we have studied the data classification so we classify data on three on three types the first type is qualitative and quantitative this is the first type the second type is continuous and discrete discrete and continuous the third type is binary or di dichotomous and polio polio Thomas. So that is the three types. Everyone give me a thumbs up if you got this. If you got the example, I will ask MCQs also based on it. Give me a thumbs up at least. If I am asking something, give me a thumbs up. No? So these are the three classifications of data you know. And you should know the examples of each of them. So looking at the MCQ, you can identify which type of data is it. Data is the first thing you should understand in biostatistics. Biostatistics padne ja rahe ho, to pehle data kya hota hai, wo to samaj mein aana chahiye. So if I am giving you any information, a piece of information is known as data, which is in the form of figures. So, at looking at the piece of information, you should decide whether it is qualitative or quantitative, whether it is continuous or discrete, whether it is dichotomous or polyotomous. Give me a thumbs up. So, first, this is the first thing you should understand and decide looking at it. So, this is the first thing. Now, coming on scales of measurement. So, for this data, for this data, we have three scales of measurement. What are the three scales of measurement? Nominal ordinal and metric norm is the mnemonic so there are three scales we are having nominal scale you can see here nominal scale ordinal scale and metric scale nominal stands for number no name sorry not number name nominal matlab name ordinal stands for order and metric stands for measurement me measurement so let me give you an example metric is again of two type interval and ratio so total four scales we are having nominal ordinal and these two are metric 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 is of two types interval and ratio i will give you the examples don't worry which type of data is measured on which scale let me take the first scale the first scale is nominal scale the first type two type this this is for qualitative data this is also for qualitative data and the metric scale that is both interval and ratio is for quantitative data you know the difference between qualitative and quantitative data now till now Qualitative means there will be no values, no numbers. And quantitative means numbers will be there. So, ABO blood grouping is qualitative. Gender is qualitative. But height, weight, mid-arm circumference, hemoglobin, that is quantitative. So, which data is measured on which scale? That I will explain you. That I will explain you. So, the first scale is nominal. It is for qualitative data. And there will be no order, no grading. Let me give you an example. So, whether the child is vaccinated or not. So you have only two options, vaccinated or non-vaccinated. So it is a qualitative data. We will, we will, we will measure it on a nominal scale. So names are there. What is the place of living? Urban, suburban, or rural? Where you live? You live in urban area or rural area or suburban area. So this is again qualitative. So what is the race? Whether you are a black or white? What is the marital status? Whether you are married or unmarried? What is the infectious status? Whether the infection is present or absent? What is the ABO blood grouping? Whether it is A, B, AB or O. What is the religion? Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai. What is the gender? Male or female? What is the disease outcome? Whether it is cured or died? What is the type of anemia? Microcytic or macrocytic? So these all have no numbers. Numbers are absent. So all of them are qualitative data. And they do not have any specific order. Pehle hum, pehle hum married bhi bol sakte hai, pehle unmarried bhi. Whatever I wish, I can say first and then the second word. Whether non-vaccinated or vaccinated or whether vaccinated, non-vaccinated. There is no particular order that first I have to say this thing, then this thing. So there is no order, no number. Only names are there. That's why known as nominal. Nominal is for names. Nominal is for names. I hope you got it. So nominal is based on names. There is no number, no order. So race, religion, country of birth, clinical features, lymphadenopathy, sex of the child, type of anemia, ABO blood grouping, site of malignancy. So what is the site of malignancy in the body? Whether it is brain, stomach, what is the site? So some name is there. So name means nominal. 
name means nominal there is no number there is no order there is no number no order give me thumbs up that is the first type nominal nominal done the second type ordinal as the name indicate ordinal will have order some order nominal was for qualitative data ordinal is also for qualitative data so what is the difference between the two here in nominal we don't have any order we have only names names means nominal we don't have any order but in ordinal ordinal along with name we have order also we have particular mild moderate severe so we cannot say moderate first we have to say mild then moderate then severe stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 so there is a particular order so again these are not numbers these are names only but with particular order so that is known as ordinal so again it is for qualitative data but it has to be rank ranking has to be done ordering has to be done grading whatever you say ek hi matlab hai ranking kaho order kaho grading kaho ek hi matlab hai so again numbers are absent numbers are absent it is a qualitative data but order is present order ranking grading whatever you say it is present so it was absent in nominal scale here it is present let me tell you the example what is the severity of the disease severity mild moderate severe so particular order is there number nahi hai there is no number lekin names mein order hai names hai mild moderate severe but there is a order what is your social class whether your social class is low you are poor or better you are middle class or whether you are upper higher class so there is a particular order what are the test results whether they are very satisfactory or satisfactory or non satisfactory so particular order what is the tnm staging there are four stages we know so stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 or stage 4 what is the classification of person based on height so whether you are a short whether you are medium or whether you are tall so this is a particular order so particular order means ordinal scale order ka matlab hota hai ordinal order ko tum ranking bhi bol sakte ho or you can also say grading so ranking grading order comes under a scale known as ordinal scale give me a thumbs up if you got it give me a thumbs up if you got it that is ordinal so these are the examples there is a special type of ordinal scale in ordinal scale learn a special type special type the name is likert likert is a special type of ordinal scale can you see likert likert scale it is a type of ordinal scale where we give the attitudes in a in a uh, particular order so whether you are strongly agree with me or whether you are just agree whether you are neutral neither agree nor disagree whether you are disagree with me or whether you are strongly disagree with me so there is a particular order whether you are strongly agree agree neutral disagree or strongly disagree so that is a particular you can say attitude or behavior of a person which is classified on a scale so whenever we classify particular attitude of a person attitude or behavior of a person on a scale it is known as in continuum in continuum so it is known as ordinal scale usually how many options are there here you can see five options 1 2 3 4 5 so usually either 3 or 5 or 7 options are there so it is a special type of uh, sometimes it only two options are also there so it, it will be bipolar also so ordinal we are done with nominal we are done with ordinal in both of them numbers are absent in both of them only qualitative data is there new quantitative data is not there qualitative data is there but in nominal only names are there order is absent order is absent here along with names particular order or ranking or grading is also there have you got the difference both of them are for qualitative data only coming on the third type very good mcqs will be there just give me 2 3 minutes more i will launch mcqs based on all these so you will have a idea how questions are asked from this this portion so coming on the third type of scale that is matrix scale matrix so nominal is for name ordinal is for order matrix is for measurement me matrix is for measurement it is of two type interval and ratio this is for quantitative data so numbers will be there ye dono qualitative ke liye thi ab pehli baar quantitative ke liye koi scale aa rahi hai so matrix is for quantitative data so we can measure mean we can measure standard deviation we can measure range we can measure variance over the scale done so it is of two types interval and ratio scale i will tell you the meaning of all these subsequent lectures mein sab pata chalega so matrix scale pe we can measure the quantities for example we can measure what is your blood glucose level tell me it will be a number what is your hemoglobin it will be a number what is your cholesterol serum it will be a number 
what is your weight what is your height what is your msc what is your blood pressure what is your pulse what is your temperature so all of them will be a number that's why it will be measured on metric now you will ask ma'am ye do type ke kya hai what is interval what is ratio how you will decide ki out of all these options which of them will be measured on interval and which of them will be measured on ratio let me come on it let me come it is of two type interval and ratio so as the name indicate interval interval will have no absolute zero in in physics in your childhood you may have studied centigrade or fahrenheit temperature scale it there is absence of absolute zero since there is no zero so ratios are not possible you cannot take the ratio of two quantities you cannot compare you cannot take the ratio of two temperatures so one one person is having body temperature of 36 uh, celsius another is having body temperature of 40 celsius so you cannot take the ratio because absolute zero is absent so you cannot compare you cannot take the ratio because of absence of absolute zero so only example here i know is this one only ratio scale is presence of zero here absolute zero is present so ratio is possible that's why name is ratio so you can take the ratio of two weight yes so your weight is 60 kg your friend weight is 70 kg so take the ratio so it will be 6 to 7 so ratio is possible here blood glucose level height hemoglobin everything zero is possible absolute zero is present zero is possible there here zero is not possible in this case so that's why ratio is absent here zero is possible so ratio is present have you got it so this is the summary of three types of scale this is the summary so nominal scale stands for names ordinal scale stands for order and metric scale measure uh, stands for measurement and see here the first two are for qualitative qualitative metric is for quantitative and metric is of two type interval <coughs> and ratio in interval you can do only subtraction and addition addition you cannot take the ratio <laughs> in ratio scale you can take multiplication and division also done done or not so give me a thumbs up and these are the examples you can see here all these examples are of nominal nominal only names are possible no quantities no order these are examples of ordinal there is a particular order tnm staging 1 2 3 4 severity mild moderate severe social class low middle class high upper high like this there is a order and these all will have numbers these all will have numbers so that's why quantitative everyone give me a thumbs up everyone everyone so that is the again these are the examples so till now what we have studied give me a minute what we have studied we have studied two things number one we have studied data so we have studied the classification of data we have studied three types of classification the first classification whether the data is qualitative or it is quantitative qualitative is known as categorical data and quantitative is known as numerical data numerical you have you all have understood it the second type of classification stands here was discrete and continuous discrete data is whole numbers only so whether it is 1 2 so what is the number of uh, members in your family so it will be a 1 2 3 4 it will be a whole number no it will not be 1.5 member bachche ko other count nahi karte hain pura hi member count karte hain and continuous will be your weight so it can be 60.5 70.5 so decimals are possible so fractions or decibels are possible in continuous so that is the second classification third classification was dichometers and polyometers so these are the here two options are possible rh positive rh negative uh, diabetes positive negative and here multiple options are possible these are the three classifications of data we have studied till now and uh, you can see the second thing which we have studied here the second thing is scales we have studied the three types of scales what are the three types of scales we have studied who will tell me it is nominal only names are possible ordinal order is possible ordinal and the third one is metric third one is metric listen everyone listen everyone listen here nominal is for qualitative ordinal is also for qualitative metric is for quantitative now you know what is the data the three type of data yes here here qualitative only names no order order is absent only names are there particular order nahi hoga here names to honge hi honge lekin there will be a particular order so my moderate severe that is the example in matrix there will be numbers there will there will be not names there will be numbers so and it is of two types what are the two types here interval and ratio in interval only addition and subtractions are possible ratios are not possible in ratio multiplication and divisions are possible i have given you the examples also everyone give me a thumbs up everyone if you are okay with it let me tell you one more thing 
we have central tendency measurement and we have variation measurement that this portion we will continue in the next lecture listen first what i mean to say central tendency have three options mean median and mode so mean uh, can be measured only mean can be measured on on matrix scale on matrix that is interval also ratio also on matrix but median and mode have to be calculated on nominal and ordinal scale so they can be calculated on uh, interval and ratio also but nominal ordinal can also be calculated median and mode from variation all these that is range variance standard deviation though these can be measured on quantitative scale that is matrix scale should i proceed ahead i would like to learn some questions you have to answer me in the chat box i can see your chat I can see your chat. If you have any queries, you can write in the chat box. This is the first question in front of you. Please see. This is the first question in front of you, everyone. So, what is the number of family member? Which type of data is it? Which type of the four options are in front of you? So, whether it is a qualitative data, whether it is a discrete data, whether it is a continuous data, whether it is a categorical data. Who will tell me A, B, C, D? What is the correct answer? Very beautiful question. Easy, beautiful, a tricky one. So, what is the number of family members? How many members are there in your family? So, there will be some number, no? two members, five members, ten members, twenty members. So, Logesh Ravi is saying B. Does everyone agree with Ravi? Does everyone agree with Logesh Ravi? Anyone else want to participate or say something? Yes, say yes or no something. Say at least. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer here is B. Yes, Logesh, you are right. It is a discrete. It is not qualitative. There will be some number. No? In, my, in my family, there are five members. So, there is a, some number. It is not quality. That's why I am disagreeing with this. It is not continuous. It will be a whole number. So, whether five, whether six, whether seven, it will not be a fraction. So, it is not continuous. Continuous means fraction. It is not categorical. Categorical is the another name of qualitative. Qualitative kai dusra naam hai categorical. It is, it is numerical. So, again, this is in, uh, incorrect. But yeah, discrete. Discrete means a whole number. So whether 5, 6, 7, whatever. So correct answer here is B. Does everyone agree with me? Does everyone agree with me? So the it will be a whole number. 2, 3, 5, 7, whatever members you are having in a family. It cannot be 2.5, 3.2. No, it cannot be. It will be a discrete value. It, it will be a numerical and a discrete value, not a continuous. Now see the next question is in front of you. There are many beautiful questions. All of them are very tricky. So discrete variables are all except. Yes, Logesh, anyone else? Rajat, Vikas, anyone? So, question contains except. Your options are, you have four options. Color of skin, boys in the classroom, leukocyte count and obesity, weight. So, all of them are discrete except. First, understand the meaning of the discrete. Discrete ka matlab kya hota hai? Discrete means whole number. So, it will have whole number only. It will not have fraction. But the question contains except. So, kis mein whole number ke alawa fraction bhi ho sakta hai? Kisme whole number ke alawa fraction bhi ho sakte hai. So again Logesh is giving the answer. Apart from Logesh, yes Logesh you are right. Anyone else want to try? Kyu? Baki logo ko try kyu nahi karna? Tell me na, what is the color of skin? You have only 2-3 options. Whether it is fair, whether it is black, whether it is BT. So these are the colors of skin. Yes. So it is, it is something, it is not uh, numerical. It is the qualitative data. So, this is not our answer. Boys in the classroom will be 1, 2, 3, 4. It will be a whole number. It will not 1.5 boys is present in the class. No, it can't be there. Uh, leukocyte count, WBC count. So, in your blood, how many WBC are present? Leukocyte means WBC. So, normal range is 4,000 to 11,000. Yes. So, whether it will be 4,000, 4,001, 4,002. So, it will be a whole number. Na? Either complete WBC will be present or it will be absent. It will not be 4,000.3 WBC is present. No, it will not be there. Yes. So, it will be a whole number again. But what is the weight? Give on, come on option C. What is the weight? Weight can be, can be, can be continuous also. It can be 60.5, 60.3. Anything can be. So, weight is the correct answer. Because except is asked in the question. The correct answer here is here two options. Uh, if you color of skin, it is numerical. So, you can remove A. Sakte ho. If you want to mark 1, mark C. And if it is a PGI, you can mark 2 also. Then A and C both are incorrect. Done. Did I proceed ahead? This is the next question. Again, it contains except. Yes? Logesh, tell me the answer. What is the correct answer here? All of them are continuous variables except. Question contains except. So, which of them is not continuous? Continuous means decimals are possible. In between values are possible. 
सो वन और टू के बीच में वन पॉइंट फाइव इज पॉसिबल सो दैट इज कंटिन्यूस सो विच ऑफ दम इज नॉट कंटिन्यूस क्वेश्चन कंटेन्स एक्सेप्ट हु विल टेल मी द करेक्ट आंसर यूर ऑप्शन आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो हाइट हाइट में डेसिमल पॉसिबल है कि नहीं इन बिटवीन वैल्यूज वेट में पॉसिबल है कि नहीं एज इन ईयर्स एंड मंथ में पॉसिबल है कि नहीं एंड ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी और ओ में ए बी ए बी ओ में पॉसिबल है कि नहीं हु विल टेल मी एनी वन अमंग द ऑडियंस वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर आई कैन सी योर चैट प्लीज आंसर इट आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर आंसर स्टिल सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ कंटिन्यूस वेरिएबल यस so logesh is giving the answer but i don't think you are right anyone else apart from it want to try anyone else want to try yes correct answer here is c blood group mein in between things are not possible height mein your height can be 150 also 160 also your height can be 150.5 also 150.2 also so continuous is possible weight mein bhi it can be 60.1 60.2 60.3 everything is possible so again it is a continuous age may be your age your age can be 25 years one month 25.1 25.2 25.3 anything can be there your age yes but abo may you have only four options whether your blood group is a whether it is b whether it is o or whether it is ab there is something not ki a or b ke b or o ke beech mein kuch hai a or o ke beech mein kuch hai no it is not there so continuation uh, it is a discrete value a b a b o so the correct answer here is this thing done okay logesh you got confused with the question okay done so it is is it clear now should i proceed now is it clear now so the correct answer here is c so this is the next question in front of you now you answer it take your time and answer it i am reading the question in front of you which of the following scale there are three types of scale you know ha huh? is used for quantitative data so whether nominal scale or ordinal scale or interval scale or dichotomous scale dichotomous scale which scale is used for quantitative quantitative matlab numbers which scale is used for numbers wala data quantitative which scale is used for quantitative data yes who will tell me the correct answer i am waiting for your answers anyone who will tell me the correct answer which of the following scale is used for quantitative data not qualitative quantitative data yes yes you people are right so what is the correct answer here correct answer here is for quantitative data we have only one scale that is known as matrix scale but matrix is not there in the option matrix scale is of two types interval scale and ratio scale so interval is given in the option so correct answer here is c interval is given in the option correct answer here is c yes nominal is names so it is qualitative data ordinal is order again it is qualitative data dichotomous only have two option yes or no so again it is for qualitative data but interval is for quantitative data so correct answer here is c this is the next question in front of you very beautiful question who will answer me so see the four options who will give me the answer in grading of diabetes we have three options mild moderate and severe tell me the type of scale on which this data can be represented so your four options are your four options are is it a interval scale is it a nominal scale is it a ordinal scale is it a ratio scale the answer is hidden in the question only the answer is hidden i am giving you a grading i am giving you a clue grading grading hai mild moderate severe i am giving you a order mild first mild then moderate then severe there is a particular order or there is a particular grading or there is a particular ranking so on which scale we measure order grading and ranking ranking the four options are in front of you what are your four options interval ordinal nominal or ratio these are your four options yes who will tell me the correct answer so jyoti datta no if you are saying b b is not the correct answer there is a particular order yes the correct answer here is c order means ordinal order means ordinal yes jyoti you are right so order means ordinal so correct answer here is c correct answer here is c uh yoga yoma martin no a is not the correct answer here why interval interval is for quantitative data it is not a quantitative data mild moderate severe i am not saying the numbers i am saying the quality is it mild moderate severe so i am saying only names but name is in a particular order so that's why ordinal so correct answer here is c i guess you got it 
Did I proceed? No logish, not B. It should be C. It is ordinal. Particular order, hai na? you can see the order. So, any order, mild, moderate, severe, TNM staging, 1, 2, 3, 4, or whether uh, it is uh, the socioeconomic state that is poor, middle class, upper high class, high class. So, there is a particular order. When there is a particular order or ranking, we will say ordinal scale. In that scenario, there will be ordinal scale. Done? Correct answer here is C. Correct answer here is C. Should I proceed ahead? Should I proceed ahead? This is the next question in front of you. This is the next question. Results were given as satisfied, very satisfied, satisfied and dissatisfied. Which type of scale is it? Again the same question. Same question with a different example. Again I am giving you a grading. Very satisfied, satisfied and dissatisfied. So again a ranking is there. Order is there. Now tell me the answer. I have already told you the answer. Your four options are in front of you. Nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. Who will tell me the correct answer? Who will tell me the correct answer? Yes, of course there is an order again. So, correct answer here is B. So, same question with different example. Here pe mild, moderate, severe was the example. Here pe satisfied, very satisfied, dissatisfied is the example. So, anyway, if ranking is there, yes, Logesh, you are right. If ranking is there, order is there, it is ordinal scale. This is the next question in front of you. Who will tell me the answer? Which of the following variables is measured on ordinal scale? Ordinal. So, which of the following can be measured on ordinal? There should be particular order. Is it type of anemia? You can give an order. Is it severity of the anemia? You can give an order. Is it hemoglobin? You can give an order. Or is it paritin? Serum paritin you can give an order. Yes, it is a difficult one. Who will tell me? Tricky one. Logesh, Yova, Jyoti, anyone wants, wants to try? Rajat, anyone among you wants to try? Give a try, na? at least. At least give it a try. So, is it type of anemia? Type of anemia or iron deficiency anemia? Is it iron? Just a second. Is it iron deficiency anemia, megalocytic anemia? So many anemias are we know, sideroblastic anemia. There is, but there is no order. There is no particular order. So it is not the answer. Hemoglobin, hemoglobin can be 11, can be 15, can be 13, can be 8, can be 7. There is no particular order. Paritin value can be anything. It can be 300, it can be 50, it can be 100. There is no particular order. But yeah, severity. Yes, Ravi, you are right. You are, you are right. Uh, so severity of anemia is mild moderate and severe. We have three severities. So, this is the particular order. So, correct answer among them is B because ordinal ke liye order hona zaruri hai. So, correct answer is B. So, this is how tricky questions are framed from this topic. This is the next question in front of you. Who will tell me the correct answer? Yes. An investigator and investigator into, into the uh, life expectancy of uh, IV drug abusers divide a sample of patient into HIV positive and HIV negative. So, you have only two groups. Either they are HIV positive or they are HIV negative. So, which type of data is it? Is it a nominal data? Is it an ordinal data? Is it an interval data? Or is it a portion data? Portion, portion means interval ka dusra form. Portion means ratio. Ratio data. Which type of data is it? You have only two types of patients here. Either they are HIV positive or they are HIV negative. Who will tell me? Again a tricky one. Who will tell me? Yes? Jyoti, what you are saying, I am not getting it. Is it D? You are saying for this question, is it D? No, it is not D. HIV positive, HIV negative. So, you are not saying any numbers. You are saying whether it is positive or negative. So, there is no order also. So, ordinal to nahi hai. And there are no numbers. Numbers nahi keh rahi hume. Either HIV positive, yes or no. So, it is not numbers. So, metric nahi hai. It is not interval. It is not ratio. Correct answer is nominal. You are giving only number. Is it nominal? So you are giving only uh, you are giving only names. Names means nominal. So is it HIV positive or HIV negative? So correct answer here is A. Any any confusion in it? Why you people are saying is that D? For this question, why you people are saying it as D? Ratio ya portion kyun keh rahe ho tum? Ratio mein to there should be absolute zero and you should be able to take there should be some number na. There should be some number. There is no digit. It is not hemoglobin ki. It will be 11, 13, 14. It is HIV positive or HIV negative. It is not number. So, correct answer among these is A. I hope you got it. This is the next question. Again, a difficult one, a tricky one. So, in statistical literature, data is broadly classified as interval scale, ordinal scale and categorical data. So, blood group will be in which category? Blood group. You know blood grouping. So, blood grouping ke liye kya option sahi rahega? Interval data or ordinal data or categorical data. You know what is blood grouping? 
there are four options a b a b and o so in this what you will give what you will give the correct answer here what will be the correct answer here who will tell me the correct answer so you have four blood group so whether is it a interval scale is it some number number hoga to interval pe le lo is it some order order hoga to ordinal pe le lo or na number and order hai only quality hai only names are there so categorial pe le lo what you will say yes martin this time you are right you are you are right anyone else yes logesh you are also right so correct answer here now you got it so correct answer here is 3 so here there is no number it is not hemoglobin weight height number nahi hai तो इंटरवल तो हो ही नहीं सकता इंटरवल और रेशियो के लिए नंबर होना जरूरी है पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर भी नहीं है कोई माइल्ड मॉडरेट सीवियर कोई भी हो सकता है सो कोई ऑर्डर भी नहीं है सो इट इज क्वालिटी इट इज नेम्स क्वालिटी सो करेक्ट हियर इज कैटेगरियल डाटा सो करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज सी आई होप इट इज सी जस्ट आई होप यू गॉट इट दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ नॉमिनल स्केल एक्सेप्ट क्वेश्चन कंटेंस एक्सेप्ट डोंट मिस एक्सेप्ट इन द क्वेश्चन प्लीज सो ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ नॉमिनल स्केल एक्सेप्ट So nominals means names. So which of the following do not have names? So race. So we have race blacks and whites. Sex. We have males and we have females. Iris color. We have blue iris. We have black iris and we have brown iris. So these are the iris color. But what is blood pressure? What is blood pressure? Blood pressure can be one twenty by eighty. It can be one thirty by ninety. It can be one twenty by ninety. So any 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 number is possible. so here number number means it will not be nominal it will be metric so blood pressure is metric yes logesh you are right blood pressure is not nominal it is metric rest three are nominal nominal mein names aayenge so yahan pe black white aaya yahan pe male female aaya yahan pe blue black brown aaya so these are names so these three will belong to nominal but blood pressure will belong to metric metric mein bhi kaun sa hoga interval hoga ki ratio hoga metric mein kaun sa hoga blood pressure mein zero possible hai yes it is possible if the person is dead systolic diastolic both will become zero so if zero is possible it will go in ratio if zero is not possible it will go in interval done so correct here ratio scale metric mein bhi ye ratio mein jayega so correct answer here is d because race sex and iris color are qualitative data but blood blood pressure is quantitative data so it will be taken on ratio scale because zero is possible done this is the next question in front of you be fast so what is the correct answer mean and standard deviation can be worked out if data is on which scale ordinal scale nominal scale interval ratio scale or dichotomous scale so mean standard deviation range ye sab kis pe measure karoge aap kaun si scale pe yes yes logesh you are right so we will measure it in ratio we will measure it in interval or ratio so correct answer here is a this is the next question in front of you this is the next question in front of you The, now this is tricky one ha huh? don't rush the response which is graded by an observer as agree or disagree ka continuum so highly agree agree neutral disagree or highly disagree so this is the continuum of agree and disagree which type of scale is it a special type of scale i have told you so is it visual analog scale is it gutman scale is it likert scale or is it ad adjective scale yes yes so martin yogesh you all are you all are uh, right so is it likert scale correct answer here is c it is a special type of ordinal ordinal scale is it a special type of ordinal scale where we measure the behavior and attitude of a person so uh, agree disagree is a type of behavior and attitude so correct answer here is likert so either 3 5 or 7 options are there so likert scale next question is on likert scale only likert scale is a type of just now i have told you Which type of scale is it? Ordinal? Is it nominal? Is it variance or is it categorical? Who will tell me? Yes, you all are right. Yes, very correct. So, which type of scale is it? Likert scale is an example of ordinal. A particular order is there, but the only difference from normal ordinal and Likert is that in Likert the order is of behavior. The order is of behavior and attitude of a person. और किसी चीज का ऑर्डर नहीं है माइल्ड मॉडरेट सीवियर में लाइकट में नहीं लूंगी वो डिजीज की सीवियरिटी है बिहेवियर और एटीट्यूड को यहाँ पे हम लेंगे डन सो करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज ए सो थैंक यू वेरी मच सो दिस पोर्शन टुडे आई हैव टॉट यू ओनली टू थिंग्स डेटा का क्लासिफिकेशन एंड स्केल्स हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ स्केल्स वी हैव फॉर मेजरिंग द डेटा यस सो वी हैव दिस लेक्चर एवरी डे एट टेन ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग आई विल कंटिन्यू दिस पी सीरीज In which I will continue biostatistics 
and next lecture is going to be really very 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 important in which i will start the lecture ahead i will tell you the normal gaussian curve skewness p value and uh, measures of central tendency measures of variation so don't dare to miss the next lecture don't forget to give your feedback here uh, if you have any suggestion for any change any improvement you can write it here frankly next class every day so it uh, it will not be there tomorrow on sundays from monday to saturday it will be every day 10 am it will be 10 am in the morning every day so don't forget to join me for psm so at 8 30 in the morning i start with pathology in pathology i start with ibqs ibqs and csq so image based question and clinical scenario questions in pathology at nine for half an hour we do this at nine daily i take pharmacology in pharmacology today i have started the first system ans so for 45 minutes we will do for pharmacology and at 10 o'clock we daily do psm that is biostatistics for 40 or 45 minutes so this is whole schedule for the whole next week so next week patho pharma psm daily 8 30 onwards 8 30 9 and 10 so these are the timings daily morning i want you everyone there done if you want my detailed lecture recordings for free for psm also patho pharma micro everything is available for free where it is available on the unacademy learners app so how to go for it how to get it go to the play store from the play store install unacademy learners app after installing go to the need pg category select need pg category as a goal there are two type of classes free one and paid one in free classes these are known as special classes so go under free classes which are special classes and search for my name my name is dr priyanka sachdev dr priyanka sachdev search for my name you will get my profile link there under free classes you will get my profile link follow my profile link once you follow my profile link you will get a n number of more than thousand lectures are available all of them are free along with pdf of the notes available of various subjects patho pharma micro medicine psm multiple subjects important topics are available along with notes pdf the only thing you require is a code to unlock it it is free but you will require a code if you are a new user you will require a code remember the code is my surname only that is such day so that is s a c h d e v such day 10 is the code so please distribute it to your batchmates to your juniors to your seniors to the interns to all medicos on the globe please distribute this code they can unlock my free classes and just now after the lecture you can unlock it go to the app go under free classes use my code unlock it and see various recordings are there along with the pdf of the note that was for the free classes if you are thinking of taking a paid subscription on an academy you have two options what are the two options let me tell you those who don't know for them there is plus subscription and there is iconic subscription in plus subscription we have you will have access to an academy live and recorded lectures only in iconic along with an academy you will have access to prep ladder recorded lectures also that is the difference so better to go with iconic and you can take plus also if you wish these are the batches available on plus platform so one batch for fmg one for next and two batches for NEET PG 2021. These are the batches available. Along with it, we have NEET PG one month package also. So in the last few days of your preparation, you can take the advantage of this package. And the price is also nominal. It is 4,500 rupees only. You will get additional 10% discount if you use my code. Code is same such they've done. This is, this is a schedule for grand test. On every Sunday on Plus platform, we have grand test. You can participate in it if you take the subscription. And you can practice, practice, practice till you become perfect. And you will know your real-time ranking all India. So don't forget to participate in these tests. And today we are having a final bow grand test in which all great educators on an academy have curated this test for you specially. Done. Last two offers for you. If you are taking a subscription for 12 months, you will get 2 months extra. If you are taking a subscription for 4 years, it will cost only 60,000 for the plus And it will cost only 75,000 for iconic. That is for 4 years. That is the cheapest, cheapest subscription we are having. So it is the longest and cheapest subscription. So if you are a fourth, uh, fine, um, first prof or second prof student, go for the subscription. These are other subscriptions available for plus. You can see starting from two months, one month be available till four years. And these are for iconic, starting from 12 months till four years. And one more thing I would like to tell you, longer the subscription, cheaper it is. See the price. Longer the subscription, monthly installment is that way cheaper. 
So if you are going for a four year subscription, it is 12,000, uh, 1250 monthly installment for uh, plus and 1400 will be for iconic. So if you are a first prop, second prop, go for a longer subscription. Whatever subscription you are selecting, whether it is plus, whether it is iconic, whether it is one month, whether it is four years, use the code such save time. You will get maximum discount if you apply this code before payment. So remember the code is such save time. Done. So you can use my code for two purpose for free classes also and for paid classes also. So for free classes, you can unlock my free classes using this code. So please distribute, please distribute this uh, code to all the medicos so they can take the advantage of free classes. For paid one, if you are thinking of taking plus or iconic subscription, you will get heavy discount if you use this code. So code is useful for everyone. Those who watch free classes also paid also. So please distribute this course, the, this code on your batch groups. On your batch groups, please distribute it. So everyone will get benefit out of it. Thank you very much. Follow my pro, uh, Unacademy profile link. And uh, today night on Unacademy special free class from 10 to 12 p.m. Today at night, I am having a session of pathology that is image-based questions and clinical scenario questions, IBQ and CSQ of respiratory system. So many x-rays, CT scans, image-based question, more than 40 questions I am going to discuss in the two hours. Don't forget to join me today, 10 p.m. to 12 p.m. tonight on Unacademy special class platform. So use the code such they can and join me there. Bye-bye. See you. Have a great day.